Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a glass bottle using a new Blender 2.8. <coughs> uh, the first thing that uh, we need to do is to go to, to here, to this, to, this, to this menu and select the Cycles engine. Uh, they are developing a new and very powerful render engine that is called Eevee but we will not using it for now okay for this tutorial we will gonna use cycles the next thing that you need to do is to select the cube that is on the on the scene uh, i have already blender open it, but uh, if you don't have it you can go to www.blender.org and download uh, the beta version <coughs> You can download the, the old version too and stable version, but um, I think that the, the final release of this of this blender is coming soon. So I I think that is better for you if you are starting to use Blender. I think that is better for you to start uh, with this new version uh, already because the, they have made some major changes on the on the interface. So, um, click on the cube. We, we, we will not need the, the cube for nothing because we are going to model a bottle. So I think that the cylinder is the, the most uh, correct shape to use in this case. To delete the, the cube, you just need to click uh, with the left click and hit the delete key. Okay? Uh, one thing that I want you to know is that uh, if you look at the bottom left of, of the screen you can see that uh, you, you can see what keys and and what uh, buttons of the mouse I am typing uh, I think that will help you a lot uh, during this tutorial <coughs> um, so next thing, next thing we need to do is to import uh, a picture uh, of one bottle uh, I have made uh, one sketch by hand that's not perfect but i think that uh, will 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 work for for this for this tutorial um to to place it on the on this new version of blender you just need to drag and drop it to to here uh, but first um we need and i think that is better for us if we click on one on numpad to go to the front view as you can see uh, if I hit 1 I go to the front view if I hit 7 I go to the top view if I hit 3 I go to the right and if I hit control and 1 I go to the back it's the inverse if I go to control if I hit control 7 I go to the bottom and if I hit control 3 I go to the left so one we are in front let's select the image and drag and drop to the scene if you move your your mouse over the, the the picture you will see that you will notice a little x on the on the center uh, this allows you to to move the picture if you click on it let's place it here on the center and if you want to scale I think that you will don't need it you just need to click on the edges so now that that we have our bottle we need to add a, a mesh as I told you before we are going to add a cylinder so you can press shift a mesh cylinder or there's another way to do it you can go to the top click on menu add mesh and cylinder as you can see cylinder is a, is a little big so we need to scale it down uh, to match the bottle you can do it again in two ways uh, you can click on the menu this one and scale it or you can press S select the shape S and scale it down 
I prefer to use uh, the shortcut uh, in the beginning if you are starting it's harder but uh, with uh, with with uh, when you have some experience using the shortcut keys you will notice that the work uh, will gonna be made faster okay we have resized the, the cylinder now the next thing that we need to do is to move it down <coughs> to move it down you can do it uh, you in two ways again you can use the menu move or you can use the G key as you can see if you press G and then you press Z you are forcing the the object to move only on the Z axis if you press X you you can only move it on the X axis and if, if you press Y you can go on the I axis okay so let's do it again G and Z okay I think that is good here now we need to start modeling our bottle to do that uh, first thing that uh, we need to do is to go to edit mode now to go to edit mode you can click on tab and to 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 make these things easier for us i will click on this you have an option on the on the a button on the top of the of the screen that allows you to turn your object in into transparent mode so that you can see the picture on the bottom so we are going to use it click on it and now make sure that you have this this button here on the on the left top of the screen selected uh, this button selects the the edges of of the object okay uh, for now we will use edges but later uh, we will use vertices that is this button here if you click i'm sorry about that you can select vertices and this one selects faces okay so let's hit one again because i left the i have left the front view click on the vertices let's select these top vertices and we need to move them now for move uh, to move these vertices i have already said before how we can move an object you can hit g or you can go to the menu and i will hit now z to go to the z axis and i will place it here okay now let's do the same process for the bottom of the bottle let's select these vertices press g and Z okay I think that is good as you can see we have a cylinder now the next step uh, <coughs> is to make this this part for this part I will select these vertices again and now I will need to extrude that that face for that you can press E to extrude it or you can go here to this menu extrude region and move it up again I prefer to use the, the keys so let's press E and place it here okay now uh, the next step is to make these vertices on the top uh, match the, the the curve that is uh, on the on the on the bottle so you need to press s to scale or go to the menu if you prefer and reduce it to match the bottle now all you have to do uh, until you reach the the top is do basically the same extrude and scale extrude and scale so i will do it extrude the e key and scale 
okay extrude and scale extrude scale I think that is, is good. Now let's continue. If you click on the on the on the, the transparent button, as you can see, we are starting to to get uh, the shape of of this button. Let's press one because I have left the front view, and now let's make the bottom of the bottle. Select those vertices here. Press E again. Let's press E, now S, let's press E again, and S, okay, now I just I will just do something of to the bottom of the bottle because in in glass bottles uh, the bottom is not plain as you, we can see here. So if you if you have unselected that that edge, all you need to do is go to here to face select. Uh, I'm sorry, I have said edge, but no. If you have unselected that face, you just need to click here and hit the delete button and select faces now we have deleted the, the base of the bottom because i want to make it uh, more real uh, water bottle is is not plain a glass bottle is not plain so uh, now to do that we need to select all those edges around here so we can select here to select edges we can click here to select edges i'm sorry and now if we click in one edge and alt key plus left button we select all the the edges that are on the bottom of the of the bottom now all we need to do is to press e to extrude it and s to scale it that is good let's press e again and s to scale it and now to close it we just need to press f okay now let's click here again let's click on one without uh, unselecting without this this uh, face selected let's click on one and now you let's press g to grab or or move if you prefer you can go to the menu as i told you before and let's move it on the z axis so i will press z i think that is good here and now what i need to do is the same for those edges so i have edges selected click one let's click out right click 
go to front view and press G or move Z to move it on the Z axis. Okay, I think that that's good. We don't need to add more detail on this. So let's press one and basically we have our bottle uh, model. So next thing to do as, as you can see is to remove the the top uh, of the of the bottle so we need to click on select uh, faces okay click on this face and hit the delete key faces and we have removed the face that face <coughs> If you if you uh, increase the, the the screen and uh, give a detail of this of this part, you can see that uh, this is this this shape is is too thin. Uh, okay, uh, those faces are too thin. And, uh, if you if you are going to to if we are going to 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 make a water bottle. Uh, or a glass bottle the glass is is not thinner and so thin as this so we need to to give uh, some some edges to it okay to do that uh, we need to select all the object you can press the a key go to this this little menu here uh, add modifier and select solidify okay now we can increase the thickness okay and let's press a i have selected all the the bottle but i think that we don't need to do that so you just need to as you can see we have some thickness now on the on the shapes I think that is good and now let's leave a uh, edit mode to see how our bottle is okay I think that's that's starting to, to look good we can remove now this this picture uh, select it and press delete key let's press one to go to I'm sorry about that Let's press one to go to um, to the front view again. G to grab or move Z, and let's place it here. And now the next step that we need to do is to, uh, as you can see, we can see the all the faces here, and we don't want to do that. So um, we need to add another modifier that is called subdivision surface. Okay, let's increase this value. Three is enough. Uh, you you shouldn't increase it too much because uh, your your computer and your render times will start to getting slower. So um, three, four, I think that is good. But now, uh, as you notice, our bottle have became too much rounder. So. All you need to do to correct this is go to edit mode again, click on tab, and then add some some uh, some edges uh, on the on these sides of the bottle, so that uh, he can define the the edges more clearly. So to do that, you just need to hit Control R, okay, and press the left click and in this case move it up let's exit the uh, edit mode so that you can see the differences okay now we have uh, some defined edges over here let's enter in edit mode again and do the same for the bottom control r 
I'm sorry about my English. Uh, sometimes I have to think what what I'm going to say. Uh, I'm, that's not my native language, so I'm sorry about that. Um, let's hit Control R again. Uh, I have done this edge here, but that's not here. I will I will not need it here, so I will undo Control R. That's here where I want it and here on the bottom now let's go to the top control R control R again Let's repeat this process in all those those edges. Okay, now let's hit tab to exit. As you can see, uh, that looks much, much better. So, we have already our bottle model, okay, based on this one, as you can see. That's pretty good, actually. So, the next thing uh, we need to do is to uh, illuminate and the texture the, the scene. So, first thing to do is to add a plane. Uh, shift A, Shift A, or go to Add, Plane, press S, or go to the menu to scale it a little bit, and now let's enter on the edit mode for this plane. Click Tab, let's select those edge here, press E, and then Z to extrude. I think that is good. Okay, <clears throat> I'm doing this because uh, after I render the scene, um, I do I want uh, a white or uh, uh, a light gray background. Okay, so I am. That's the reason why am I doing this plane. But I want this plane to be rounded here in this in this section. So we need to add uh, another modifier. In this case, it's the same that we have added to the bottle, a subdivision surface. Okay, three three. But now, uh, as you can see, it uh, it doesn't look uh, how I want. So we need to to make the same process that we did on the bottle. It's to to divide the the edges of of the plane. So let's hit Control R. Let's see where. Sorry about that. I will just reduce this on the view because I need to subdivide this. Control R. I'm sorry. I wasn't in edit mode, sorry, my mistake. Control R. Okay, now I can edit. Control R. Okay. Let's do the same for this, this.
okay i have made a subdivision but i still we still can see this 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 curves this this vertex here that i don't want so uh, we can just make a smooth to the plane and that's pretty good actually so now we have the plane we have the bottle <coughs> now i'm going to to put the camera in front of the bottle if you press the the zero key on the numpad uh, you can see where the camera is pointing to so that's not correct um, i will click on one to see on the front mode okay let's center this and now i click on the mouse wheel to change the perspective a little bit mm, that's pretty much what i want to see on the render so on the camera i'm sorry so i will hit ctrl alt zero and the camera moves to what uh, i am i am seeing okay so as you can see the camera is now uh, where i was looking at okay is pointing to where i was looking at so let's hit zero but uh, we need to move it down a little bit so here and hit g z to move on the z axis let's hit zero almost let's hit g and z zero okay g zero okay let's move it down Mm -hmm. one more I'm just moving the camera on the on the y axis okay Mm, that's good okay now let that we have the the camera let's add some some materials uh, click on the plane go to materials tab hit new for the plane I just want to I just want it to be white so that's good for the bottle I want it to be glass so let's Click on new material to the bottle, go to the tab, shading tab, and remove this node here. Let's press Shift A, shader, glossy BHDF, and connect to the surface. Okay, no, that's not glossy, I'm sorry. Less PHDF and connect it to the surface. If you go to your your screen and if you click here, this uh, will allow will allows you to do the to see uh, what your render is is looking. So as you can see, we have a, a rock texture of of glass, but I think that is good for this tutorial. Um, but now we have another problem that is the the, the light on the scene. Uh, I think that is pretty dark, so I will remove this point light because we are not going to use point lights. I prefer in this case to use the area light. Okay, uh, I have just clicked on Shift A as you do to add a mesh and click on light area now let's press G or move it using the menu and let's move it on the Z axis let me just put this on 
standard mode and solid mode I'm sorry and now let's move it a little bit up okay uh, <clears throat> you can increase the size of the light but if you increase the size of light of the light that will not affect the intensity of it but it will affect the intensity of the shadows so if you want a more darker shadows you can press s and scale it down and they will become more darker and if you want them more smooth you can press s and scale it up <coughs> if you click here you can have a, a menu and that will allow you to change the light parameters so i think that let's change the strength of this of this light 200 let's hit zero to see how it it's look like okay i think that is starting to look good let's just add another lamp on the on the sides 100 press 7 key to go to the top let's click here to view solid mode and make sure that the lamp is selected and hit shift D to duplicate that lamp now it is pointing to the to the bottom let's hit R to rotate or you can go to the menu there is no problem and R again to point to the bottom 7 now we can add another another light on the on the left side let's hit shift D and now rotate okay. Let's hit zero to go to camera and click on shading. That's pretty good. That's pretty good actually. Now all we need to do is if you want to make a, a high definition render of the scene. Uh, all you need to do is go to render tab and click F12 but before that I will go here I'm sorry here and click on the noising uh, that will allow you to to remove uh, some noise during the, the render uh, to avoid for you to, to to increase the number of of the of the samplings of, of the render okay so let's go to rendering and hit f12 and now we just need to wait that uh, our bottle is is finished i will show you i will not uh, uh, stay here while it, it is rendering and um, i will show you in in the final of of the of the video Uh, the render is, is done. Uh, this is the final result. Uh, if you have liked it, uh, you can uh, uh, subscribe my channel uh, to, to see the, the, the new videos that, that I will make for you. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I hope to, to see you soon. Uh, nice uh, modeling for you.